Welcome to another tutorial and this is Handy. I'm going to try micro Kubernetes. This is a Kubernetes distribution that is fast and easy to install, easy to use. And previously, I have tried to uh, install micro Kubernetes and I can do things like uh, kubectl uh, get deployment and I can also get services and this time I want to do something uh, more useful and that is to see the dashboard okay so uh, let me check if we have uh, the dashboard add-ons right it our status okay so we can see by status that if you are following the recommended tutorial then the dashboard will be enabled okay and um, if you see here that uh, micro kubernetes Actually, has a cluster IP here, so um, let's say the port is 443. So maybe what happens if we try to access this? Okay, and it's actually it's not working. Okay, it will take uh, too long to re respond. It will time out. So. And the reason is because the micro Kubernetes is actually running inside a VM. So if you are using Windows like me or using Mac OS, then uh, micro Kubernetes is not running directly on the OS like in uh, Linux and Ubuntu. So we have to do a bit of uh, port forwarding here. I've tried this before so let's try doing this port forwarding and it claims that okay I'm forwarding from uh, localhost 10403 so let's see if this is working and it still refused to connect and the reason is because it's port forwarding from uh, the VM itself but the Windows and the VM is on a different IP address so how do we know the IP address of this VM um, we can use a command because it uh, micro Kubernetes uses multipass we can use multipass list and then the IP that we need to use is this one so let's try this one. Okay, but it still refuses to connect. And the reason is because it is uh, okay. I need to do the port forwarding first. And then I will try. still not working although that we have the proper IP address and the proper port the reason is because it's exposing using the localhost interface so we have to uh, use port forwarding using the proper IP address so we have address here and now we should be able to access this Okay, and another problem, not, not a problem, this is how we use it, but it's not explained uh, entirely clearly in the documentation, especially if you use Windows. And uh, I hope uh, we, 
can contribute to improve this documentation. So now we need to get the token. Okay, so let's see if we can get the token here to access this because it's secure by default. And the problem is that this command is for Linux. So let me try that using this. Just command and just using what it uh, it's trying to say that we need to find this default token. And then type secret and then the token. Okay, so we have this token. Okay, actually I've tried this before. And let's try to take this and put this into the token here. The problem is that the token is not accepted. Actually I've uh, tried this before, so it, this one is not entirely honest uh, because the video got lost, so I have to re-record this again. Let's see if we paste the token into Notepad. So I hope you can see the problem here. The problem is that there is a line break here. So we have to delete the line breaks to join the tokens. This is because the copy pasting. And after we can get this in one line. Okay. So this should be one continuous line and then you can go here paste the token and you can get inside okay this is nice and one thing I want to show you is that actually we can see there is a multi-pass list and there's a nice thing uh, there, there are nice commands in multi-pass and actually we can get inside this VM so we can do multi-pass shell of this micro KSVM and if we are doing this then that means we can run these commands as it is okay it's wrong so maybe you can do this and then you can okay um, cadence is not available okay so I guess that this is because the environment mm, I think we need to uh, preserve the environment okay let me try this again one but I will replace it with sudo okay. this not very nice copy paste experience sudo in front of this one okay and then I will also add sudo in front of this one okay so uh, we still get the same token as before okay and now uh, we get a token and then we can see the dashboard so this is nice uh, we can get the overview of this cluster We have services here, and we have the cluster IP, and then we have the config and storage, and deploy apps, and so on and so on. Okay, and currently there is nothing here. So this is nice. Okay, you can 
see the nodes and as you can see there is only one node okay and it's uh, using uh, how many cores okay two cores I guess two new cores This is something wrong with the input CD Grafana. You can also see some problems here, and so on. So this is a nice way to see the overview of the Kubernetes dashboard that we can install. Uh, we can enable, but if uh, this is actually a optional add-on in micro Kubernetes, so if the resource is small then you don't have to use uh, dashboard you can disable this dashboard okay so thank you for watching this tutorial so you can use the dashboard and the next tutorial i will deploy a real application a test application and that is wordpress see you